welcome back to the video. I'm having to squat down because we didn't have a lot of space to actually set this up, but we're doing some work on the truck. If you can't already hear behind me, my dad is helping me out with hooking up the Natika backup camera I unboxed about two months ago. Um, I'm just staying out of his way. He's taking the trunk, trunk, tailgate liner out to get to inside of that to get to the door handle on there. So we're gonna try to mount that into the handle itself. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what we're working on today. We also have an either pulley that's going in a different video um, that I'm already working on. So you guys will see that. Probably you've probably seen that video before this one because I, I filmed that one first. Um, yeah, today's video we're working on putting the backup camera in on the truck. Um, I've thought about trying to see if we get the load resistors done, but he has a different idea to do it. So I thought we we're going to take the tail lights out to do it, but he has a he seems to have a better idea than I do on this. He's a lot better versed in this kind of stuff than I am. So. I'm taking his word for it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna get the camera behind us and I'm gonna try to be as in-depth as possible as this. Uh, as as in-depth as possible as with this. Uh, I, I'm not gonna be perfect, but we're gonna give it our best shot, so let's get back there. All right, so we mapped our location out, where we think we wanna put it. So one thing that the Natika instructions stated that I, we don't have anymore, so I have to reference one of my, I had to bring the uh, original video. Um, as we're going to have to cut the green and the white rock wire on the actual camera itself. That because uh, the white the white wire does front rear switching, and the green wire has the built-in guidance lines on the camera, which we don't need because my Sony a XAV AX100 has them built in. So we picked to go on the door handle. We're not doing the traditional route, which is usually where the P hole is. Um, but at least just the place we picked out right now is uh, you know really different spot and it's kind of hidden but yep once we get our our final position mapped uh we'll come back and uh we'll see uh where we're going with that all right so we finally picked our final location where to put the thing so originally we were going to try to get it in here but there wasn't any simple way to get the wiring from the handle down all the way to the extension wiring which is currently sitting on the passenger front seat area so we decided to pick right here above the license plate. It's not gonna be inconspicuous at all, but it's gonna work and we're gonna get as maximum visibility as possible. So yeah, that's what we're gonna pick for the spot. So they said use a 5 16 I think is what the paperwork said, drill bit to drill the hole. There's a lock washer, I think that's what this is. Not a lock washer, but like a lock nut kind of deal. I think it's a lock nut. Is this a lock nut? I think, I can't, I don't know what a lock nut looks like. But. So like the little ridges in the bottom. I don't know, I'm not good with screws and bolts, but anyway, that's where we pick to mount it. And then running the wire should be pretty simple, so that's gonna be our move. So there's the camera set up. We have all the wires intact. We originally were gonna cut the green wire, but XAV AX100's built-in guidance lines are pure crap compared to what the camera uses. So we're gonna use the camera's guidance lines because I like them more. <laughs> um, they're more similar to what most modern cars have on their guidance lines. So that's what we're using that for. So yeah, we're gonna get into it and uh, get this hooked up and hopefully be able to come back to you guys when we get that set up. Because we already have the radio side set up. We did that on purpose um, when we first did the radio. That way uh, we didn't have to tear the dash out again. So uh, yeah, that's the plan right now. I'll come back to you guys when it's ready to go and um, we'll get hooked up. All right, so I just finished filming the last of the Seafoam Either Pulley video you guys saw already. So anyway, we're back to the back of the camera. We picked up our spot. We've got the camera mounted. I'm gonna put the lock washer, lock, lock nut, whatever that is on. That's, that's definitely not, not a washer. But we're getting that, that part done. So, it won't be too much longer and this thing will be finished. But as far as the actual mounting side goes, it's done. And we've already checked it before anyone asks, but is the tailgate gonna hit it? No, we've tested it and it will not hit it. It clears the tailgate perfectly fine. Fortunately. Um, one thing to note though, it, while it stands out a good bit right now, when this bumper is painted black, or not, oh no, sorry, we're not, we're not doing color match. We're, not, we're doing color match, not black. Ha! Wrong, I thought, I, I forgot I wasn't painting, painting the bumper black, but. Um, anyway, I might see if they don't take this out whenever they paint it, um, if they'll just paint the black surroundings to match the body. I don't know how well that would work, but 
Uh, anyway, we're just getting that positioned. We've got the wires cut. So purple is not intact. We actually did cut the purple wire. That way the image would face upside down on its side, but right side up on our side. Um, we got a pretty good angle out of it there. Um, I, only thing is, the only casualty is always a little hole in my bumper, but small price to pay for the added safety of a backup camera. Because as I've said before, I'm notoriously bad at backing up. Just ask Hayden, he will go on a rant all day about how bad I am at backing up. So anyway, <laughs> well that said, um, we're gonna finish getting that installed on that end and then we're gonna just hook it up. It's gonna be just as simple as running the wire now. Cause like I said, we already had the radio side done. It was just hooking the uh, trigger wire up to that and uh, plugging the video out into the RCA port on the radio. And then this was like the only thing that we really had to do. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna come back to you guys in a moment once it's all finished. I'll show you guys the finished product and uh, we'll test it out. So we're running the wire down underneath the, these little four cell panels right here. And then it's gonna come out down here through the back. It's gonna come down to the fender and then down to the camera. So. Yeah, that's where we've decided to hook everything up. Um, here's the camera itself. Now I'm on the bumper. I think I already showed that earlier, but... Yeah, everything's looking good. We're pretty much in the final stages of getting everything hooked up. Um, and from there, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when it's done, and we'll actually show you the camera in action. All right, so quick update. We just had to run the wire down from the front of the truck because there was a hole in the back that was just a little bit too small for the wiring and the drill just couldn't get through it. I mean, the, I guess the metal they use in that part of the cab is just really strong. So we were not able to get it to go through there. So we had to change plans and now it's running. We ran it through the front of the truck and it's out and down underneath it now. So we made progress. I'm gonna show you guys where we're hooking up to reverse trigger. That way um, you guys know where to hook it up to if you're installing one of these yourself and uh, then it'll be time to show off the camera. All right, so we just finished installing the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and demo it for you guys. Fortunately, my dad did crack the camera, so uh, we are gonna get a new one in. Uh, once he gets paid, he said he's gonna replace it for me. Uh, he did it by accident, so I'm not even upset. So we're gonna throw in reverse. So you can kinda see. So that's what's behind the truck. You can see this dark mark in the middle with the red. Oh, that's actually my uh, brakes. I'm gonna take those off. That's how bright my brake lights are. That's new information. Oh, that black spot right there. Right here, that's where the crack is. So anyway, that's the camera. It is the Nautica camera. So um, I will probably link back to the unboxing video. Um, good stuff, it, it works fine. I'm using, like I said, the, the camera's guidance lines instead of mine because I, I like them more than the radios but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get the truck moved back outside and uh yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more and all that stuff um more sport track content will be coming soon i tried to do a sport track field week we've got more mods to install in the truck very soon so if you guys enjoyed be sure to stay tuned and i'll see you guys next time take care